Hello, we are discussing about gate 1997 EC paper and this question is related to analog circuits. Look at the diagram. An IC555 chip has been used to construct a pulse generator. Typical connections with components are shown below. It is desired to generate a square pulse of 10 kHz. Evaluate the values of RE and RB if the capacitor C has 0 0.01 microfarad. If necessary, you can suggest modification in the external configuration to generate a square pulse of 10 kHz. So generally it is VCC. <coughs> if you know the internal diagram and if you know the operation, it is very easy. I am not going to explain the operation now. So capacitor charges and capacitor discharges. Okay, Capacitor charges during this path. Capacitor charging path is nothing but this is the path. When capacitor charges, it follows this path. Okay, Capacitor charges towards VCC through this path, the path consisting of RA, RB and C. And this is going to be treated as charging path. And whenever capacitor discharges at that time, capacitor discharges through this path. Capacitor discharges through this path towards ground. So this is discharge path. <coughs> whenever capacitor charges, output will be at high level and whenever capacitor discharges, output will go to low level. Okay, remember that one. So first of all, this is what time and capacitor for example, capacitor is charging by that time capacitor charges, then output is going to be at high level. The charging time constant tau c, charging time constant tau c is equal to charging time constant can be found by knowing the equivalent effective resistance in that current path and effective capacitance in that path. Current is coming from VCC towards ground. So during this path, resistances present is RA and RB. Since they are in parallel, they will be added up. Okay. So RA plus RB into C and discharge path discharge path is nothing but through C and RB only so that tau D discharge path is only RB into C <coughs> so during charging when capacitor charges at the time output will be in on condition and when discharges output will go to off condition ok and again output will go to on condition whenever capacitor starts charging so capacitor charging capacitor discharging but since the time constants are different the on period and off period is also different this is on period and it is off period tau on is 0.69 times of time constant that is ra plus rb into c and tau off that is t off off period is equal to 0.69 times of rb into c <coughs> since both are different you cannot generate a square wave square wave is nothing but on period and off period must be same okay so that is nothing but duty cycle must be exactly 50 percent since tau on is greater than tau off so that duty cycle duty cycle is nothing but t on divided by t on plus t off so it is greater than 50 percent so output is not a square wave not a square wave so we must modify this circuit to get the square wave okay so look at this one how to modify this circuit whenever we know that one capacitor is going to be charging. This is going to be the charging path. So since charging path is going to be larger compared to discharging time. <coughs> okay. So tau on, T on is greater than T off. We have to reduce T on. So to reduce T on, what I am doing is I am going to connect a diode over here. Look at this one. A diode is going to be connected in this direction. If a diode is connected across RB such that P 
P side is going to be connecting towards VCC and N side is connecting towards capacitor. So that this diode act as forward bias when capacitor charges, when capacitor charges because charging now the charging time constant is calculated during this path. Since diode is going to be under forward bias, it act as short circuit for ideal case. Otherwise, it maintains some small forward resistance. Now this is the modified charging path. Modified charging path. So modified charging path time constant is Ra plus Rf diode forward resistance into C. So since under forward bias diode maintains very small resistance so that Ra is very very large compared to Rf. So this will be approximated as Ra into C itself and discharge path is again while discharging okay while discharging capacitor again takes this path only okay this is discharge path while discharge capacitor uh, this diode act as reverse bias diode act as reverse bias during capacitor discharge because capacitor discharge is nothing but current has to flow in this direction current cannot flow from n to p current always flows from p to n only for the diode so diode act as reverse bias so during discharging diode act as reverse bias by the time rb will be in effect so rb into c is going to be discharge path tau d is nothing but rb into c that is same as previous now charging time constant is ra into c if you choose if ra value is same as rb then we can say charging time constant is approximately equal to discharging time constant so that T on is equal to T off T on is equal to T off so <coughs> duty cycle is equal to T on divided by T on plus T off which is nothing but 50 percent so that is square wave so by modifying this circuit by placing extra diode across RB and making RA and RB having the same values you can generate a square wave now we are going to calculate RA and RB values ok and it has given that one frequency is 10 kHz it has to generate 10 kHz square wave so time period for this one is 1 by F which is 0 0.1 milliseconds and T is nothing but complete cycle that is nothing but T on plus T off is equal to 0 0.1 milliseconds and T on is equal to T off so you can write it as 2 times of T on that is nothing but 0 0.1 millisecond so from this one T on is equal to 0 0.05 milliseconds so T on is nothing but RA into C which is 0 0.05 milliseconds and C value is given as 0 0.01 microfarad is equal to 0 0.05 milliseconds <coughs> so RA can be calculated as RA is equal to 5 kilo ohms so the value of RA required is 5 kilo ohms that is same as RB so RB also chosen as 5 kilo ohms RA is equal to 5 kilo ohms, RB is equal to 5 kilo ohms and capacitor value is 0 0.01 microfarad. Then this configuration, the modified configuration is going to generate 10 kilohertz square wave. Otherwise, this won't generate the square wave if you are not modified this circuit. Okay. Thank you.